Hey everybody, I'm going to tell you the story of the Northwest Rebellion of 1885. This story actually starts 15 years before 1885. In 1870, the province of Manitoba was created with the passing of the Manitoba Act. Now, Louis Riel was the main Métis political leader at the time, but he didn't get to stay around to help get the new province on its feet. Instead, he was forced to run away to the United States to avoid being tried for the death of Thomas Scott. Now, MacDonald promised the Métis people. He said, your list of rights will be respected. He said, there's a place for you in this new province. Unfortunately, this wasn't the case. Without Louis Riel to stand up for their rights, the Métis found themselves being pushed around, discriminated against. Eventually, many people felt pushed out by the English settlers. Many Métis got so frustrated that they decided just to pack it all in. They left farms that they had owned for generations, and they moved west to get away from the English settlers. Eventually, many of them stopped in Saskatchewan, where they tried to start their lives over. They found a good river, and then they went around setting up farms in their traditional way. They made long, narrow lots going back from the river. The long, narrow lot system meant that every farm got a little bit of waterfront property. It made sense. Now, things went along just fine, until history repeated itself. The English settlers found them. That's right. Just like before, the English settlers came and they wanted to use their system of dividing land, but it didn't respect the Métis land system. Just like in Manitoba, the government sent out surveyors to map the land. And just like before, the surveyors made maps that created lots in which the Métis farms just didn't fit. The Métis were not about to roll over and lose their land for a second time. It was time to fight. Gabriel Dumont stepped up to lead the fighters but he knew that he couldn't do it alone. He called on the one man who could help him lead the Métis to victory, Louis Riel.